Revel Performer 3 loudspeakers utilize the results of our latest research to reduce audible distortion. This includes optimized motors based on sophisticated modeling and analysis systems. These drivers utilize techniques to keep the distortion exceedingly low even during long excursions. The result of all of our efforts to reduce distortion below audibility is the sonic equivalent of cleaning a dirty window. The detail and clarity of these speakers is really something to hear. By using uh, CAD models and uh, FEA analysis, we're allowed to basically uh, simulate many different uh, designs and, uh, and, and modify them in the computer uh, before we actually have to you know, create the part or, or tool the part uh, to generate a prototype or, or a production uh, part. So it, it saves a lot of money and time. Uh, we actually build the prototype after the simulation and use these machines to verify the performance of the prototype. We use it right after the computer simulation or, or finite element analysis. It's actually very cost-effective engineering. What this analyzer does here, this Clipple distortion analyzer, is it actually breaks down the distortion elements of the driver into the, into the uh, primary uh, parts. We measure the driver and determine what's actually uh, creating the distortion so we know what to fix. Uh, that way you're not you know, addressing something that's not causing the problem. When we did our room survey, we talked about this idea of a direct sound, early reflections, and later arrivals. Well, those are the three things we hear in a room, so those are the three things we want to measure. So we measure the loudspeaker at 70 points around the speaker, and then we take a series of averages, and each one of those averages represents those three things you hear in a room. With the 10 years of experience we now have with these kind of loudspeaker response measurements, we've been able to move loudspeaker design forward. So where other companies might optimize the response on just a single axis and then get a decent frequency response on the other axis, we optimize the response over the entire sphere of the loudspeaker. We have a number of innovations here in our loudspeaker drivers. If you look at the magnetic structure, there is a copper cap and the purpose of this copper cap is to lower distortion in the mid-range. And in the 8-inch woofer in the Performa, it's a little hard to see, but we have a different type of distortion lowering mechanism. And this too shorts out the uh, modulation, the flux modulation, and the distortion is greatly reduced in the low frequency band. Also, a new introduction in our Performa 3 is um, as you notice that we have indents in the woofer and this um, improves the uh, performance at higher frequencies uh, minimizing cone breakup so the loudspeaker is able to perform better out of its band which is important to get the crossover response correct <laughs>